Hi there, it's Danny here from Crystal Clear Counselling. Just uh, bringing up a subject which is quite poignant this time of year, um, as uh, many people who've got youngsters who kind of move it on to university and college, um, it brings um, uh, something called empty nest syndrome um, to the fore. Um, it's not technically a, a medical condition, it's not a syndrome as such, but it's kind of a, a state of transition, really, uh, which obviously is um, an emotional state of, of a change of life. Um, a, a lot of us as parents hold uh, quite a bit of our identity as in, in the role of parenting, and of course when children leave the house, um, leave, the, leave the home uh, with it, especially when it's the, the last child to grow up, it can leave quite a void, quite um, intense feelings of uh, sadness, um, possibly it can intensify uh, people's regrets and decisions they might have made, how they might have brought up their children, but but most of all, it's actually really about missing um, what was and uh, kind of needing some help to, to, to move on to what the future holds. Traditionally, it tends to have been uh, associated emptiness syndrome with, with women, quite simply because uh, if we go back a generation or two, it tended to be uh, something which isn't the case now, but it tended to be that um, women were more likely to have given up their careers or given up some aspect of their life to, to bring up children. And of course, then, uh, leaving the role of parent aside, of course they are still a parent, but they're not a full-time parent as such, um, if that person hadn't taken on a career at a later stage, can leave a kind of void there. Of course, it happens whether you've got a career or don't have a career, but uh, that is kind of one of the aspects which can accentuate it. Um, so obviously, filling that void is, is an important thing. Um, first of all, um, obviously, increase in interests, widen horizons in terms of uh, interests filling your time. It's kind of one of the obvious things to, to concentrate on to look at the possibilities for the future. The, the other reason it tended to be in the past that females was at a, at a higher prevalence, if you like, uh, to emptiness syndrome, but I believe that very much male will suffer from it too, but it's not usually talked about so much, is with females it can be um, that for around about the period of time where children may be leaving uh, to university or on to a marital home, can coincide quite often with looking up after older relatives, so it, become, it comes an area where the, the stress level can be quite intense. It can also come at a, a period around the time where menopause may happen as well. So that can even accentuate some of the, some of the potential regrets even more. Now I kind of concentrate on the negative here because of course if, if you um, if you're watching this, if you've looked up emptiness syndrome, I'm kind of guessing that the, um, the negative is possibly been the prominent factor in someone leaving the home at this point. But of course, the important thing to, to remember is all the positives that can come on from that point. But because it can be a painful transition, it can be difficult to see those right now. As I said, although traditionally it has been, if you look it up, associated uh, with being felt by women, it 
very much can be felt by men too. Um, and of course, the other aspect to think of is, is most people think of empty nest syndrome when their kids have grown up and left, i.e. the natural progression onto to career, onto relationships, onto independence. The other thing to, to bear in mind, of course, is uh, with marital breakups, that, that one spouse can be sometimes left with an empty home for the first time. So emptiness syndrome kind of can affect people right at the end of the spectrum where you'd be expecting your children to grow up. It can occur a lot earlier where um, circumstances suddenly mean that you've got an empty home for part of the week, all of the week, for the first time. Also, of course, it can affect um, to, to maybe sometimes to a lesser degree, but also for mothers where, or parents where a child is going to school for the first time, and it might be the, the last one to grow up, is now off to school and suddenly the days are emptier and and there's an aspect there, kind of hint of that emptiness syndrome there. So it can be from there through to boarding school, through to college, uni, and leaving home for relationships and future independence. You can find a little bit more written on my website, which is uh, crystalclearcounseling.co.uk uh, on emptiness syndrome. Um, Hopefully there's something that, that you can pass through, uh, most importantly by sharing with other people. So, so share with family, share with friends what you're feeling. If, if that heaviness of the sadness becomes too elongated, uh, if it's difficult to see a way forward out of this position, obviously uh, I've got my details if, if, if counselling is an aspect of exploring the future and looking for techniques to get through the present. Thank you for listening and I hope you found this of some use. Thank you. Bye.